Rome, 64 AD. The Emperor Nero has unleashed his fury against the Christians. Their crime? Proclaiming a king higher than Caesar. Setting fire to the city, Nero places the blame on the Christians and launches a new campaign to wipe them out. Families are separated, children left homeless, as thousands are sold into slavery or thrown to the lions. Escaping the panic of the fire and dodging the advancing soldiers, a group of children find shelter in the gentle care of Ben and Helena, a local baker and his wife. Here, the children discover an amazing secret network of daring men and women who risk their lives to help one another and to tell the stories of the great storyteller, the one called Jesus. And so, awaiting the day when their parents will return, Anna, Cyrus, Justin, and Marcus embark on the adventure of a lifetime, together with Ben, Eleanor, and their friends in the Christian underground. Their mission, to keep the stories of Jesus alive. This is their story. They are the Story Keepers. Christians out of Rome. Helena and the others are surprised to learn that Cyrus's parents are still alive. Imagine their joy when they see you're still alive. Though longing to accompany their friends to Shimladar, where they will be safe from Roman persecution, our heroes must first turn their attention to Nero Stockade. Water. We need water. There, Justin and Marcus suffer without food and water. And Ben awaits execution. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Yes, one I hoped we'd never see again. What? But Rome's the most wonderful city on Earth. You must forgive my wife. Our only son was killed in the Great Fire. I... I'm sorry. Don't worry. As soon as we meet up with our friends, we'll leave Rome and never again return. There, there. We don't have to go ashore. I'll leave word for the others to catch up with us in Capua. Good old Zemo. We should have known he'd be here to greet us. Come, we'll go ashore just long enough to say hello. Mom? Dad? Cyrus! We return to Rome in hopes of finding our old circus friends. Still, we never dreamed we'd... <laughs> oh, Cyrus. I missed you both so much. I just wish Ben could meet you. And so he will. I'll not let the man who took care of my son die in some dungeon. Cyrus is lucky to have such fine parents, but you mustn't get involved. Helen is right. It's too dangerous. We appreciate your concern, but we aren't leaving until Ben is free. I told you they'd want to help. Wanting to help and actually helping are two different things. What do a couple of ex-circus clowns know about breaking into the Imperial Stockade? Enough to know it won't be easy. But fortunately, your clowns have friends in high places. Continue to starve the others, but see the baker gets plenty of food. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint the lions. Just because the baker must die doesn't mean you all have to. 
Give me the names of your Christian leaders and you'll go free. Maybe these people know something you don't, Capella. That some things are worse than dying. That's where you're wrong. Nothing is worse than death. A lesson you Christians should have learned when we executed your Jesus. What do you know about Jesus? I know he died like a common criminal. You see, boy, I was there. Faster, you! Behold! The King of the Jews! On your feet! Wait! You! Come here! In Jerusalem, executions were held at a place called Golgotha, or Skull Hill. Two other prisoners, guerrilla leaders, were to be executed also. Because death by crucifixion is a particularly painful experience, Jesus was offered wine mixed with myrrh, a spice to deaden the pain. <gasps> the men hung a sign on the cross, King of the Jews. Some gambled for his clothes. So this is the one who would pull down the temple. If you're so powerful, why don't you get down from that cross? <laughs> if it's true you saved others, why not save yourself? Even the religious leaders mocked him. Let the so-called Messiah get down from that cross. Then we'd believe him. And so it went. He hung there for hours. as the crowd taunted and teased him. And then, it was over. Why don't you tell the rest of the story, Capella? What rest? He died. Yes, but it was no ordinary death, was it? Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they're doing. If you are the Messiah, why don't you save yourself and us? Quiet. We're guilty and deserve to die. But this man has done nothing wrong. Remember me when you are king. You'll be with me in heaven today. Mother, take my friend John as your son. And John, take my mother as your mother. My God, why have you left me alone? He's calling Elisha. Let's see if Elijah will help him. They don't understand. I'm thirsty. Father, I put my whole life in your hands. A storm that day. What of it? The point is, Jesus died, and that's the end of the story. No, Capella. It's just the beginning. Believe what you like, Christian. Jesus of Nazareth is dead. And unless you tell Nihilus what he wants to know, 
You will be too. All of you! I told you we had friends in high places. Don't worry, Zack. Father Circus friends are just what our rescue plan needs. <laughs> if they live that long. Eat up, Baker. Our nihilist will punish us both. Let me finish the story you started earlier, and I'll eat every bite. The story was finished. Or do you hope to convince me your Jesus didn't really die that day? Oh, he died. But that doesn't mean the story is finished. A man named Joseph from the village of Arimathea went to see the regional governor. Because Joseph was an important member of the Jewish council, he was admitted. Yes, what is it? Governor Pilate, I have come to ask permission to bury Jesus of Nazareth. You speak as though he were already dead. He was crucified this morning. At first, Pilate was suspicious. But when he learned Joseph was telling the truth, he agreed to release Jesus' body so it could be buried. It was almost sunset when Joseph got back to Golgotha. They wrapped Jesus' body in linen sheets Joseph had purchased in the city and carried him to a nearby garden where a tomb had been prepared. There, you said it yourself. Jesus was buried just like any other man. Yes, but there's more, you see. What's that? Huh? Don't just stand there. They may be trying to rescue the Christians. It'll take more than a few circus performers to break into this stockade. We knocked, but no one answered. Welcome. I hope you plan to stay a while. Where is everybody? Down here! Don't worry, we'll get you out. How? I wish we had this fellow working for us all along. To the stockade! Back to the wagon, everyone. Here they come. I'll be glad when this show is over. Come on. To the wagon. I'll be right there. We'll meet you at Salim's ship. Good luck! All right, let's go. Where's Ben? Baker? I warn you, Capella. If the baker escapes, it will cost you your life. I guess I won't hear the rest of that story after all. Ben, hurry! No! Do you know what you're doing? Making sure you get to hear the rest of the story, that's what I'm doing. Are you crazy, misguided? Please don't kill me, Capella. Where are the other prisoners? They escaped, sir. All but the Baker. I would have made it too if it weren't for Capella. It's a lucky thing for him you didn't. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Baker. Take him to the Circus Maximus. The lions have waited long enough.
Are you sure we can break Ben out of the Circus Maximus before the lions get him? It'll be just like the time we saved Cyrus and the others from Giganticus. After we get to Shimadar, I hope we never have to rescue anybody again. You should have escaped when you had the chance. But then you never would have heard the rest of the story. How can you sacrifice your life to tell me a story? Maybe you'll understand when you hear how it ends. Thinking back to that day, Capella, you may remember a group of women. Mary from Magdala, Salome, and Mary, the mother of Jesus and James. They had been with Jesus in Galilee, and they were there the day he died. Maybe now the Jews can find themselves a real king. This man was a real king. Surely he was the son of God. By the time they reached the garden, it was almost sunset. Shabbat, the Jewish day of rest, was about to begin. The morning after Shabbat, the women returned to the garden. They had brought sweet-smelling oils to put on Jesus' body. But when they arrived at the tomb, they were surprised to find the large stone had been rolled away. You were looking for Jesus of Nazareth, the one who died on the cross. You won't find him here. He has risen. Go tell his disciples he will be in Galilee before you, and you will see him there, just as he said you would. And don't forget to tell Peter. Although they were afraid to tell anyone what they had seen, who would believe such a story? They decided to tell the disciples everything. And then the man said, he has risen. It's just as they said. Why are you weeping? What are you looking for? Please, if you've carried him somewhere else, please tell me. I want to go and look after him. I want to... Mary? Rabbi, teacher. Go tell my disciples that I'm going up to my father, to your father, to my God and your God. Mary, are you all right? What is it? I've seen the master. <gasps> Baker, do you believe this story? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. The question is, do you? Halt! There has been a change of plans. Nero has ordered the baker taken to the outskirts of Rome and crucified. But what about the Circus Maximus? The lions? Merely a decoy. The baker's friends will surely attempt another rescue. Only this time, they'll walk right into a trap. Please, Helena, stay away from the Circus Maximus. Security conditions have improved. <laughs> this country air wreaks havoc with my sinuses. Come, Nihilus, let's proceed. Why don't you do the honors, Capella? Consider it your reward for foiling the Baker's escape. That's you! Oh, do get on with it, man! I know you don't have a choice, Capella. It's all right. I'm going to be with my lord. Yes, but not today. Traitorous dog, you've just signed your death warrant. 
Death is no longer my enemy, Nihilus. You are. Consider this your dishonorable discharge. Justin, you drive, and don't forget Capella. Yes, sir. Rescue, eh, Capella? Capella. Oh, no. At least I got to hear the rest of the story. There are many more to tell. And I expect you to keep telling them. All of you. You saved us, Capella. No. You saved me. All your fault, Nihilus. You! You and your ploys and traps. You couldn't trap a legless cat. I'll have those Christians in chains by sunrise. Oh, no, you won't. You have failed me for the last time. What's the meaning of this? I came to see an execution, and I'm going to get one. The next man who touches me dies. How dare you? I won't forget this, Nihilus. Mark me. Your days are numbered. So are yours, Nero. So are yours. After him! Safe journey, my friends. God be with you. And with you, Senator. Thank you for taking care of Capella. He'd be honored to know he's being buried in your family vault. After what he did for you, he is family. At last. I don't know how to repay you for all your help. It is we who owe you the debt. Oh, my. Take a good look, everyone. We won't be coming back. I can't believe we're finally on our way to Shem Hadar. Me either. Are we almost there? <laughs> <laughs> Sail away, little Christians. Sail to the ends of the earth. But know this. I will find you. And vengeance will be mine.